Let us begin with the paper pattern and question typology. This year's chemistry paper will be of total 80 marks with duration 2 hours. Remember that these 2 hours are for writing the paper. But before these 2 hours for writing the answers, the question paper will be given to you 15 minutes prior, just only to read the whole paper thoroughly. These 15 minutes you should utilize to select the easiest questions for which you are confident about and answer those questions first. The 80 marks are distributed into two sections A and B equally, that is each section with 40 marks. Whole section A is compulsory while in section B there will be internal choice. Section A has two questions. Section B has total 6 questions, from which you have to attempt any 4 questions. I told you before that you will be getting the question paper 15 minutes prior just to read the whole paper. So, this time you can utilize to select these 4 questions. Section A is 40 marks. The whole section is compulsory. Section A comprises of 2 main questions. Question 1 and Question 2 Question 1 consists of 15 multiple choice questions. Each question is of 1 mark, hence total 15 marks are allotted to Question 1. Question 2 consists of 5 sub-questions. Each sub-question will carry 5 marks. Thus, total 25 marks are allotted to Question 2. Now understand the types of questions which may come under question 2 of section A. These 5 sub-questions, of course all are compulsory, may be mostly objective types like fill in the blanks, match the columns, name the following, draw structures from given IUPAC names or write IUPAC names of given structures. One more important question can be an experiment based question. Now, each of the 5 sub-questions will again have further 5 sub-questions carrying 1 mark each. Here, I am giving you a very important hint. The experiment based question will be mostly from the chapter study of compounds. Which are those compounds? HCl gas, ammonia gas, nitric acid and sulfuric acid. I feel this experiment based question will be mostly on the preparation of these compounds. We will talk about it in detail during further chapter wise discussion. Also, there are lot of chances that one question would be solely dedicated to IUPAC nomenclature, that means to organic chemistry chapter. Now, let us see the question typology in section B. Section B is of 40 marks. It comprises of 6 questions out of which you have to attempt any 4 questions. Each question carries 10 marks. How 10 marks are distributed? Each question will have 4 sub-questions. 2 sub-questions will carry 2 marks each, hence total 4 marks. While other 2 sub-questions will carry 3 marks each, hence total 6 marks. Thus, these 4 marks plus 6 marks will give you total 10 marks per question. 10 marks into 4 questions will give 40 marks for section B. All the questions that would appear in section B will be short answer type of questions. Thus, final flow of paper pattern for chemistry paper would look like this. Total 80 marks, 2 hours duration, 2 sections, a and B. Section A compulsory. Consists of two questions. Question 1, 15 MCQs. Question 2, 5 sub-questions. Section B consists of 6 questions, out of which you have to attempt any 4 questions. Now let me inform you that all these questions along with detailed solutions have been covered in some or other way in all these bunch of resources available on our topper learning site. So take ample advantage of it right now.